ever smile on since I can't remember when. Now here's what it looks like in here now, and you can see I took uh, the remaining hush mat I had and started putting it down on the floor here. Sorry, it's really dark in here, I know. And uh, anyway, I framed this in with uh, one by four strips, ring strips. Okay. Let's hope it fits. So here's a way to make a right angle turn using your jigsaw. What I want to do is take a right turn here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just kind of slowly carve away at the side there, kind of turning a little bit every time going back and forth. I make kind of a triangular shape until it's big enough for the blade to turn 90 degrees. And then you're golden. You can just uh, go ahead and cut straight across. And it works really well. So here's um, as far as I got with the floor. There's foam insulation under here. You know, three quarter inch furring strips insulation. I'm attaching it with these fasteners here. They go all the way through into the metal floor. And uh, I have to make this piece here. I don't think that has anything that detaches, but then also this here, which is an inspection plate. And so I'm making a cover for both of these things. I believe there was something originally that came with the bus for that, but whatever used to be there is not there anymore. I don't have it. So I'm making something. Um, yeah, I was just watching one of Steve uh, Steampunk Steve's videos, and he's making cabinets, and he's got everything measured. He knows exactly how it's all going to fit together, and that's that's awesome. Um, I build things, at least something like this, I call it the caveman approach. I don't really know, I don't really know um, how to, you know, how to do this. There's all these complicated angles and everything. So what I ended up doing was something kind of by trial and error. It took me a couple of tries, but I've got this thing that fits pretty close, close enough, nice and snugly. And uh, this fits in there. I've only got one hand, so just trust me, it fits in there and uh, goes against the firewall there. And then I had another similar piece of plywood over here, but it just seemed to take too much room in for my foot pedal. It, my foot was kind of hitting against it, so I had a piece of uh, scrap sheet metal left over in my scrap pile, and so I cut that to fit. And it takes a little monkeying to get it in and out, so I'm just going to leave it in there, and trust me, it, it fits pretty well in there on, for that side. Um, so I'm just kind of building this thing in place. I put either one of these on each side, and then I just measured it and um, um, marked the angle. This is going to kind of taper in a little bit. So this one's going to be straight up and down, but over here, in the interest of saving valuable space it's uh, gonna taper inward a little bit and uh, I'm just gonna kind of build this in place I'm gonna put a brace across there which is gonna give me um, kind of some guidelines for cutting the profile since each one of these is a little bit quite a bit different because the just the way the the firewall hits is it's a different kind of a slope and everything on both sides of this so so in order to get my you know my profile correct, I'm going to actually put a brace in with it in place, which is going to give me you know the areas to mark and on either side. So I'm going to cut it, and so it more closely matches the shape of this thing. And then once I have that, I'm going to make some sort of detachable thing that'll fit on here. Um, but I don't exactly know exactly how I'm going to do it. So this is a way. I mean, if your skills are not up to par and you know, I'm not too bad, but there's a lot of stuff I, I just uh, is over my head to do it the correct way. But you can always, it's try it's slow, but you can always kind of do it with trial and error. I used a piece of cardboard, you know, to get the angles, and even then I ended up having to trim this thing, and this is was actually my second attempt. The first one I had to abandon it and start over again. But eventually I got it. I mean, you know, a couple hours of time, and finally it's right. And actually, the piece on the the left, I ended up not using uh, that little gap you may or may not have seen at the bottom there ended up being a problem. 
<laughs> and so for the left side, let's see, I think I used a piece of cardboard, then a piece of plywood, then that piece of sheet metal, and uh, then uh, another piece of sheet metal before I finally had something that was going to work. Um, so, you know, the moral of the story is uh, just keep at it, man. It's all good. So, yeah. There, see, I put that brace across there. Yeah, and what I did over there, I mean, I could have done it fancier, but I just kind of held all that together. Put this, put this up against there like that. And drew with the pen to get that angle there. And then I cut, set the side of that angle, whatever it is, and um, measured across 22 inches. And then I marked on here with a pencil where this would go. Took this thing out, drilled some holes, and put some screws in. So now I can slowly kind of put this together in place. I want it to be able to come out in one piece, but I'm going to kind of build it in place like this. See, and then I'll do the same thing with another brace down there and. And then see I cut a piece of plywood for the top there. I got that brace down there. And I'm almost ready. Then I'll be able to just kind of cut it along the line of the framing there. And hopefully it all comes in and out at one piece so far. That's what I want. Let's see, I want to make a little piece to go there. I'm just going to hold that up against there like that. Put that against there like that. So I've held this up in place where I want it. I've laid this thing up next to it. And now all I got to do is just take a pencil and mark that line there. And there's the angle I need to cut it at. So I don't really care what angle that is, I just want that angle. You're watching John's bus conversion. Say it. You're watching John's bus conversion. You don't seem very excited about it. Yeah, well, uh, you kind of caught me on the spot here, you know. How about, you're watching John's bus conversion on the Mud Springer channel. Okay, there you have it, you just said it. Cool, there it is, all done, ready to put in. And, uh, I have to put the camera down to do it, but this thing actually just, it just pops in there and, uh, stays put. There it is in place. It took me a long time. Now I gotta make this piece and finish off the rest of this. Well, I ran out of diamond plate and out of time. I'm almost finished. I still got this, this little area to do here. But uh, it's time to put this aside for the moment because next weekend there's a festival. Woohoo! So, uh, so check it out. Festival in beautiful Williams, Oregon, next time. Because what good's a bus without a festival, eh? Well, hey, man, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Have a good one.